everybody. <laughs> I have the camera pointed down today because I am showing how to make these linen shades. And I've actually um, shown pictures of how to hem the edges, but this part is a little tricky to explain, so I figured I would make a quick video. So what I have here, first of all, I have one large piece, and this is the bottom of the shade. And I actually, I ended up hemming all four sides on accident, but um, we only need to have three sides hemmed, the two sides and the bottom, which you can't see because it's out of the frame. So those three sides are hemmed. It's a double folded hem, so there are no raw edges. And then this is the top piece. And this piece is cut to be um, twice as long, I guess, as you need it and then the same width as the bottom piece. And then what I'm doing is I'm folding it exactly in half. Both of the sides are hemmed and I'm going to pair it up with the bottom of the shade. So we've got two pieces to the shade. The top piece, which stays stationary and is doubled over and the reason why it's doubled over is so it can fold over a rod. And I also just, I think it holds it a little bit stiffer. It has a little bit more body to it. And then the bottom part of the shade is the part that can move up and down. And the way it moves up and down is with ties. So these are the ties. They are cut out of some of the scrap linen fabric. I didn't hem them at all, so they have raw edges. They will continue to fray if you really pull at them, but um, I've had a few in my studio for a few months and they haven't been fraying at all, so it's fine. If you wanna hem them, you can. Um, if you wanna use just ribbons, you can do that too. Okay, and then we need to put the, the ties into the shade as we're assembling it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this top part of the shade over so I have access to the bottom and the tie that is going to be on the front of the shade is going to go there between the top and the bottom of the shade. And I'm going to pull it out a little bit to make sure it fully gets stitched in there. Okay, I'm grabbing a ruler here and I'm going to put these eight inches in. It's Saturday and I have kids coming and going and the lawn is being mowed. So you're just going to have to go with it. <laughs> okay, so I'm putting it eight inches in. It doesn't have to be precise. The other blinds that I made are wider, so those are 10 inches in. And, um, but again, it doesn't have to be exact. This is just so they look, you know, kind of even, if, especially if you're making more than one. So I'm going to hold the tie in place. It's not pinned or anything yet. And I'm going to put the back tie right behind it. So the back tie is at the very bottom of the stack. And then we've got the bottom piece of the blind, the front tie, and then the top piece of the blind. Okay, and then I'm gonna start pinning it together. So you wanna make sure all of your edges are completely lined up. I'm going to pin this all together. I'm going to skip over here real quick. Now I've got the end done. Okay. And then I'm just going to sew along this pin line, and then we need to make the rod pocket. Okay, so the blind is all assembled. So really, the part that takes so long is cutting it all out and um, hemming everything. <laughs> Putting it together is pretty simple. Um, so what I did uh, in my sewing room is I made that stitch that we pinned, and I also sewed the two sides. So this is where, this is the top of the blind where the fabric is doubled over and I sewed it together up here and along the other side, along the hemmed edge, and that's just to hold it together so we don't have it gapping. I did leave about two inches at the top of each side, and that's so we can make a rod pocket, and that's what we're gonna do right now. 
These um, I'm putting on a tension rod, so I only need about an inch and a half. Well, we'll do about inch and, yeah, inch and a half. And I'm just gonna put a pin at the inch and a half mark. Okay, so I'm gonna sew along the pin line now. That'll make the rod pocket. I'm gonna trim all the threads, trim all the excess fabric off of um, the back. We have the seam here. I'm gonna trim all this stuff off. Iron it all because it's linen, so it's wrinkly. Give it all a good iron and then it's all done.